Thank you, everybody, and don't laugh at me. <laughs>
deacons, mothers, saints, and friends. I accept that welcome. Man. But you know, I always feel welcome when I come here because I've been coming about probably 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> and I thank Sis Nancy for that welcome, and I accept that welcome. Thank you.
my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maid servant. For behold, henceforth, all generations will call me blessed. The he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their heart. He has put down the mighty from their throne and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. I read verses 45 through 55.
pay attention, okay? It's called the hiker. One day, Deacon James Knight, Trustee Pat Pender, and Brother Dennis Farmer were hiking in the wilderness area when they came upon a large, raging, violent river. They needed to get to the other side, but had no idea of how to do so. Deacon James Knight prayed to God, saying, Please, God, give me the strength to cross this river. God gave him big arms and strong legs, and he was able to swim across the river in about two hours. Although he almost drowned a couple times, he made it. Seeing this, Brother Dennis Foreman prayed to God, saying, Please, God, give me the strength and the tools to cross the river. God gave, gave him the strength and the tools, and he was able to build a rope up and got across the river in almost an hour. Even after capsizing a couple times, he still crossed over. <laughs> now, Pat Pender now, because you know he's going to be the last one, he's going to wait to see. <laughs> Somebody got to tell the story. <laughs> so, now. still there, he got Deacon Knight crossed there, Brother Dennis crossed there. He said, well, it must be something to this asking God for what you need, right? So he said, Please give me the tools and the strength and the intelligence. Y'all hear that last call? Yeah. What did he say? Y'all remember this now? And then, poof, God turned Pat Pender into a woman. <laughs> Thank you. 
giving y'all and giving y'all praises and everything. We're going to praise up to God. Amen. So, here's my song for the day. All right, y'all, y'all ready? Amen. God is God and he won't change. Oh, God is God and you won't change. He can do what it like he did before. He's the same yesterday and forevermore. Guess what, y'all? He won't change. Come on, y'all. Say it up.
She was ordained as a preacher. She established her own church entitled the House of Truth and Faithful Ministry of Hogwood, North Carolina. To God be the glory. She continues to be a member of Salem Baptist Church. She's also currently a member of the TFDU Foundation in Oak City, North Carolina, where Marvin Hughes is the founder and president of the TFDU Foundation. That organ organization helps others in the community by do donating various items in the community like facial masks, hand sanitizer, and other things. Uh, computer usage is available to the public upon notice. The foundation also put a children's playground next to the foundation building. We have support the breast cancer awareness walks in Williamston, North Carolina. The TFB sponsored activities for the children, such as East Age Hunt and um, tutoring for children. Pastor Reese helped with the tutoring program during the COVID pandemic when the schools were closed. So um, I had the next selection, but it's not on the program. So I'm just going to say to Pastor Reese, do your job, and I'm sure you will enjoy it.
Yes. This is Women's Day. Yes. yes. Don't walk. 
want to raise it. It says, Lot wife, vain, materialistic, or just human. She was human just like we are. She was human like we were. <coughs> this name, this biblical woman, has been dismissed throughout history as a vain and malicious woman was unworthy. Her character deserved her punishment. God punished her. You know, God gave us those Ten Commandments and he gave us the covenant, right? Mm -hmm. You are to abide by the covenant. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't make up your own rules what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Every day when you got to step out on faith. Mm -hmm. Every day to show yourself approved. Mm -hmm. Well, we are beautiful in this world today. Mm -hmm. We have no reason to look back. The text blamed the instruction of Solomon is under wicked belief. Some still, from this present evil way, established blazing toward faith. And that's what we do. We blaze toward the faith. We need to go back and say what our mother and our father had done, or our sister and brother had done. We look over the one that had deceased, so God knows that I do. I do. So my husband that I thought I had lost everything. And that came a part of me. So what happened? God told me, said, you're going to be all right. Yeah. all right. You just keep the faith yeah. and keep on moving. Yeah. You heard that song? Yeah. Keep moving, yeah. keep moving. Yeah. No one pleasing placing their hands to the plow and looking at the things behind it, wanting for the wrench of God. That comes from Luke 9, 62. <coughs> now, sometimes I like to give scripture. Okay? I need these fixed now, y'all. She could not give up the world, seeking pleasures of the world. You know, sometimes we get fun and pleasure mixed up. God didn't say that you can't have fun. Amen. But he said, do it, and decency, and for Amen. Amen. For most of us, a sense of justice is offended that the God of a second chance, and God is a, a God of second chance, he's a God of love, he's a God of mercy, and most of all, he is a God of forgiveness. Of course, uh, it says entertainment only then can hope to find healing. 
soon and we didn't go through killing a whole yes. lot of that. When you heard of it, it was very few. Yes. We can lay in our beds at night with our windows down and nobody bothered us. The laws back then the days had an easy job. But now you look at them, they have a tough job out here. They have a tough job because people have begun to do the wrong thing. And we need to learn how to do the right thing. It says, how is God right for one example for us? Today I am sure you may, you wonder about the way, some portion of our point in a Christian life. Okay, what would you have done if you had been in God's life? What would you have done? You probably, as well as myself, would have turned into a pillar of salt. <laughs> That's what you would have did. Okay, the audience will try to handle today. One of the major lessons we can learn from Lot's wife is that not, not always a good idea to look back. We should never look back. In God's point of view, we should never look back. We also that God always punish disobedience. You know, sometimes we are disobedient. I don't care if we sit in this church, sometimes we are disobedient. We don't always do what the pastor say. We got to. He said, do this, I'm going to do this. So that's every way life is today. You have your own mind, but you should have a mind of God as a Christian. Amen. Hallelujah. Time is a strict matter as we see it. In this case, a lot of life who eternally turned into a pillow of salt. When she looked back from the state, a story of Lot's wife, we can also learn the importance to fully have faith and trust God fully. Trust God fully. Obey what he tells us in these <coughs> things that he finds we feel like. Having said the above, Lot's wife at the fourth major lesson, we can learn from Lot's wife. Y'all listen, I'm saying a lot because we need to learn from Lot's wife. Yeah. Look back as well into petition as my <coughs> right. Okay, it says from last right that all believers to uh, to take not in the Christian lives so that they don't end up like her. Amen. You don't want to end up like her. You want to be better in whatever you do. Worldliness always leads to what? Backslide. Yes. You can backslide. Sometimes you need to hang, stop hanging in the group that you hang in yes. and the clips that you got. Yes. Because if you got these clips, you yes. gonna wind up yes. backslide. Yes. Backslide yes. yes. Always. 
better repent today. Amen. Amen. Before God judge me come, you Amen. better repent. Amen. Your life as God commanded me. I'm not looking back in the world in your Christian journey still remains today. Amen. If you are doing not what you're supposed to do in his life today, he will cut you off. Amen. He will cut you off. Amen. Surely Amen. I got to say this, honor your mother and your father. Amen. I don't care what kind of father you got. Amen. I don't care what kind of mother you got. He Amen. said respect your parents. Yeah. And you can have a long life yeah. of what you
of her choice into her life. She trusted him to do this. Now y'all listen. But time went and on and on. No man came into her life. She got tired of waiting, for she wanted to marry, so she did. She stopped believing that God could do it. She said it to herself, and the marriage had the mark of a do-it-yourself project. <laughs> project. So that means that it won't right. So sometimes you want something, you want to go get it. You can get it, but make sure it's right.
reminds us that we look back to where we come from. But we don't look back when God tells us not to look back. We don't look back wanting to go back. Amen. Thank God for, for each of you today. Uh, we, as we come today in preparation for our communion, we do ask, uh, I know sometimes that through the midst of the conclusion of the service, when we get ready to go into communion, some people have to leave. But we are getting into actually the most sacred part of the service. Baptist Church has to all this baptism and holy communion. And as we prepare for this, we ask that if you do have to leave, that you would do so quietly before we proceed to our communion. Because say that Jesus said that as often as we do this, we do show for his death and his suffering that he has come again. He died for our sins. He gave his life on the cross for us. And this is a sort of occasion that we ought to be focused upon him. Not upon what your neighbor has done or has done. Not upon what you would like for them to do. But be thankful for what the God has already done. God is not the world. He gave his only begotten son. The who's the man? Minister has always stated as the church comes. And we are going to read the covenant to you and uh, for your hearing. Have it been laid as we believe by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. And on the profession of our faith, have it been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. We do now in the presence of God, angels in this assembly most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ. We therefore, we get engaged therefore by the aid of the Holy Spirit to walk together in Christian love, Amen. to strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort, Amen. to promote his prosperity and spirituality, to sustain his worship, ordinance, disciplines, and doctrine. To contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of their ministry, the expenses of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel through all nations. We also engage to maintain family and sacred devotion, yes. to religiously educate our children. And I'll, I'll just put a pin right there on this women there. Mm -hmm. To religiously educate our children, yes. to seek the salvation of our kindred and of to walk circumspectly in the world, to be just in our deeds, faithful in our cases, and exemplary in our report, to avoid all tattling, backbiting, and excessive anger, to abstain from the sale and use of intoxicating drinks as a beverage, and to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. We further engage to watch over one another in brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy and feeling and courtesy and speech, Amen. to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation, and mindful of the rules of our safety to secure it without delay. We moreover engage that when we remove from this place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. Amen. Amen. Minister Howard is going to share with us as a reminder of what this body, what this communion is all about. Even in the backdrop of Jesus saying that as often as you do this, you do show forth his death and his suffering till you should come again. But we, the church of Corinthians, kind of got lost. And uh, Paul had to send them a reminder, Minister Howard. For there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When you come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in, in eating, everyone taketh before, before other his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunken. What?
have you not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God, and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For it would just but for if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together into condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. Amen. 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 This is not about you. It's not about me. It's all about Jesus Christ, who was whipped with 40 stripes, 39 saved him, with a cattle. Nine with braided trolls wrapped in that whip that every latch will pull skin off his back. Some of you sitting in there, you remember when mama used to go get that switch? Yes, Sometimes she'd send you out there to get the, yes, that switch. Sometimes the, your brother or sister would have got it and sometimes it felt like it wrapped around you <laughs> when it came back. Yeah. You think about that. But it wasn't designed to pull the skin off. Amen. But what Jesus was whipped with was designed to pull the skin. Amen. Every lash was a gash. And he suffered. And he died. For my sin and your sin. There on the cross, he never spoke a mumbling word. Spell, ridicule, criticize, verbally abuse. And somebody called us out of our name. We were in But he endured this for our sin. Paul say to the church, is that in your sin? It's dangerous to partake of this unworthily, but it's dangerous not to partake of it. Paul said, you ought to live so that you ought to be able to partake of it. But if that's all against you or your brother or sister, congregation tearing one for another. That's right. You ought to love one another just to carry a little bit. That's right. But God's love is so much yes. that His Son suffered. That's yes. right. As we prepare, yes. Jesus took the bread and He took the wine and He broke the bread. And he blessed it. He took the cup of the wine and He blessed yes. it. That's right. And He said that this body, this bread represents my body, which is given for you. That's right. The wine represents the blood which is shed for you. Yes. I will no more drink of the fruit of the vine than I drink it anew with you in my heart. He's waiting for us. He blessed it. He prayed. We are not able to stand as Jesus did 
But we are able to go to him in prayer. That's right. As to do this. And if there are those of you who have all the kids, your brother or sister, in this day and age, we have already offended through mass media. We can't get to them right now. Go to prayer. As Deacon May shall lead us in prayer. You talk to the Father. Father God, we come as humble as we know how. Yes, Lord. And Father God, we thank you for this congregation of all the people. Yes, we realize, Father God, that we are too weak. Yes, Lord. For you to strong. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. But we thank you, Father God, for thank your you, Son. Mm-hmm. And share his blood. Yes. For the remission of our sins. Yes, Lord. So this is why we here. Because you share his blood. Some call it good practice. Yeah. It was good practice, yes, Lord. But it was another day. Yes. But you allowed your son mm-hmm. to share his love. Yes. Yes. So, Father God, as we come to the community, mm-hmm. we ask you, Father God, to search your heart. Oh, yes, sir. We're not looking back. Anything that's in the back that hindered us, Amen. we ask you to forgive us. Yes, Lord. Yes. But, Father God, let us do it. Touch each other. I mean, our sin. Let's look at our sins and then we are sinned. And Father God, if there's anything that hindered us, or eat and drink, it will call down nature to our soul. We have for your forgiveness. Forgive us, Father God. Now, Father God, we ask you. We know we can't change. For you, we ask you right now, Father God. Change this element, this bread, this wine. Change it from the physical. Change it to the spirit. Bless it. There will not be no damnation to us. It will be a blessing to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
just out of hand, just standing on first study. Yes. And we was blessed to be able to get more. Yes. Yes. Thank God for Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. They sang a hymn and they went out into the Mount of Olives. We do not have the Mount of Olives to go out into, but we do have our homes, our highways, our yes. fireways, our schools, our kids. Yes. Yes. Where will we go? Yes. Let us go. Yes. Tell him yes. somebody. Amen. Tell him the word. Let it the world know that I am redeemed. Yeah. Right yeah. Christ yeah. Christ. Yeah. Jesus has yeah. changed my whole life. Thank you. 